Hey guys, so today I'm doing a little video on some of my favorite fall trends and I know this video is probably going to be kind of long so let's get started. Okay, first let's start with the lips and there's two trends that I really like for lips and they're kind of like opposite each other but that do not matter. And the first thing is just kind of neutral pinks, you know, nude colors like that. Like kind of what I have on today and the lipstick I really like is from Mary Kay. It's an apricot glaze. And just like a My Lips But Better lip color. It's really similar to my own, but it's just a bit pinker. And it's like a pink terracotta color, which is why I really like it. So I have this on right now. I think it looks really pretty. And it's just nice and neutral. And over that, I have this Luscious Liquid Lipstick in Pink Lemonade from e.l.f. Which is a pretty pink with nice gold shimmers in it. So just anything that looks really natural, nude pinks. Just kind of your natural lip color. But better, of course, because we've got to amplify everything. But I just love that look. It looks so natural. It looks great with, like, the heavier eyes for the fall time. And it just gives you a really nice, fresh face look. Then the other trend I really like is just bold lips. I know they're kind of opposites, but I love both these trends. And so bold lips, like red. I love red lip stains and stuff. This is just a red lip gloss that I happen to have. And this one, which doesn't look like it's that bold or crazy, but it's just a bright fuchsia color. It goes on my lips really pigmented. I don't have much left, as you guys can tell, so I don't really want to waste it. But that's a swatch of it right there. So you guys can see it's pretty bright, actually. And I really like this. Although it came in a set, and my friend gave it to me, so I can't buy this individually. But just cut in colors similar to this. Burgundies, maroon colors, um, of course reds, just bright kind of darker colors I really like for the fall time and also raspberry colors. I love the color raspberry now. But those are some of the trends I like for lips. And then for face, there's really only one trend I love and that is just flawless skin and nice rosy dewy cheeks or highlighted cheeks I guess. And I'm actually wearing foundation right now and I really am loving this. I use my mom's and she uses the MAC Studio Fix Liquid Foundation and I also use the powder as well. I actually used to have the powder. I have the empty compact now because I finished it. But I really like the MAC Studio Fix. It's kind of expensive though so I'm looking for a cheaper drugstore alternative so I don't have to, you know, buy like a, I don't know, $30 foundation every like two to three months or whatever. But just nice flawless skin. And I love using matte foundations now because even though I do have dry skin, as long as it's really moisturized, I like using matte foundations because I want most of that glow to be on my cheeks. So I love using cream blushes and highlighters, you know, liquid powder, cream or whatever. And a cream blush I love to use is from e.l.f. It's a lipstick and seductive and I use this on my cheeks because it gives me them a nice rosy glow. And then I have a product that I really like to use to highlight my face, which I'll talk about later. But that's the, the only thing I really like for face because I think it looks so pretty and it's just really simple and easy to do so flawless face glowy cheeks highlighted skin and that's you're good to go okay so now for eyes the first trend i love is lots of mascara and lots of eyeliner i love mascara and eyeliner they're probably my favorite products ever and i have this eyeliner from essence it's a gel eyeliner just a black because you know you have to have your black eyeliner. And then I have two mascaras. They're both from Maybelline. This is one by one, and this is the final lash. And this is a volumizing, this is a lengthening, so it's really great because they both do different things. So it's nice to layer them. And I just love the whole entire look of like lots of mascara and lashes and stuff. And by lots of mascara, I do not mean spider lashes. I personally don't don't take this too, like don't take this too seriously, but I hate spider lashes. Why do you want your lashes to be clumpy? Like I don't understand. I love, I love, you know, lots of mascara, but I love my mascara to be separated and long and thick, not clumpy and all stuck together. So, you know, if you want to try out the spider lashes lens or trend, let's say lens, if you want to, if you like the spider lashes, go for it. That's just not what I like, and I just would never try it, never, ever, ever. So. But lots of highlighter mascara is just my favorite because it makes my eyes pop and it's such an easy way to just kind of add a little some sum to your face. And with your eyeliner, you can always use different colors and you can smudge it out a bit to make it kind of smoky or something without using a lot of eyeshadow and spending a lot of time. Okay, my last thing I want to talk about in this video is actually really short, a lot shorter than I thought it would be. And that is just kind of metallics and things like eyeshadows that have a nice shine to them, if that makes any sense. So I have a couple eyeshadows. First one I want to talk about is just one that I love in general. And this is from MAC. It's called Showstopper. 
and this is limited edition so you can't get it anymore but it is a really pretty dark brown it's not really it looks a bit purpley on camera but it's just definitely a neutral brown and I will use this in tons of tutorials but it's just dark there we go that's a better swatch and I really like this I have tons of swatches on my hands right now but that's just a little swatch of it right there and then I have a oh I forgot to talk about the other eyeshadow gosh duh um, I have another one from MAC which is also limited edition so I'm sorry about that this one is called Go, and it's just a really pretty golden color, and I love it because it's so shimmery. It has a nice sheen to it, which is something that I really like. It looks metallic. It kind of brightens up your eyes a bit. I used this on my lid lids today, actually, for a tutorial that I filmed. So that's a swatch of Go. Really, really pretty. And another palette I have for eyeshadows is from Wet n Wild. This is a comfort zone palette, and I love it. Looks like that. And I used this also in my little tutorial that I filmed today. And this is actually a color I love to use on my cheeks to highlight it. And I just really lightly take it. Usually I use a brush or something. But I lightly take it and I just kind of, you know, dab it like one, two, three. And then I take a kabuki and I blend it in all over my cheeks. So it kind of, it mainly highlights right here but also highlights like my actual cheek area. And that's it like blend it out. You guys can see it has a really nice sheen. Obviously, I'd use a bit less. This is kind of way too much because that's really, like, shiny. But I like it because the shimmer is small enough that it doesn't look, like, glittery or tacky or anything. But I love these eyeshadows. They are so pigmented. They're really inexpensive. And all of them have a nice sheen to it. And they're just so crazy pigmented. Like, look at that. This is just one swipe. These are incredible. Da -da -da. Yeah, so those are just some swatches of that. And yeah, so that concludes my favorite fall makeup trends video. Hopefully you guys like this video. If you do a video like this, make sure to post it as a video response or leave a comment on what your favorite fall trends are. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.